friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and I'm here to do another review for you today. Today we have an espresso stout from Hitachino Nest a Brewery out of Japan. I'm sure I'm murdering the names. They're in, in uh, Ibaraki, Ibaraki, Japan, uh, to be exact. Uh, but anyway, this is their espresso stout. It comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. Um, and it is a 12 ounce bottle, I believe. Yes, uh, well, 11.2 ounces, so it's a 330 milliliter bottle. And I paid $4.39 for this. This is a quite a well known espresso stout, and um, I'm not sure if I've had it before or not. I don't remember. I might have had it at a tasting before, but if I have had it, it's been quite a long time, and I don't remember it. So I wanted to. Uh, get a review of this uh, posted and try it out and let you know what I think of it. Alright, they got it. It's on there very tight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drink this out of my uh, new Belgian glass. Okay, wow, that's, that's really dark. I guess I was a little too aggressive on the pour there. Got a lot of head on this one. I get a very, very sweet coffee aroma off of this. Um, yeah, very, very sweet coffee. A little bit of, of vanilla, actually, I'm getting in here. It might just be the... Uh, there is a bit of an alcohol sort of uh, aroma to it. Maybe that's mixed with the... With the uh, the coffee flavors and the roasty flavors is kind of giving me a, an impression of vanilla. Very, very dark. I'm not seeing any of the lights through this at all. Um, very small, bubbly, uh, creamy, rich head. Okay, so the head's gone down on this a bit. I think I'm ready to go ahead and give it a taste and let you know what I think of it. It's almost just like drinking like a really smooth coffee. It's it, the the coffee flavor is is extremely strong in here. It's uh wow, uh, but it's not it's not bitter. It's very smooth, very very just rich, earthy coffee espresso sort of flavor to it. Uh, very tasty. Uh, and not not cloyingly sweet, you know. It's it's a it's slightly sweet, but not. It's not like super sweet. Um, it is does have a a pretty heavy mouth feel. It is a little bit sticky, not not super sticky, but just a little bit sticky. I see why this gets such rave, rave reviews, and it's it's wonderful. And it at four plus dollars a bottle, it should be wonderful. Um, you know, not not a cheap beer, but not super expensive. I mean, that's it's comparable to spending you know nine dollars on a on a bomber. So you know, it's not outrageous. It's just it's 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 a uh, it's it's not a cheap beer, but it's it's a good beer, very tasty. Not getting anything in the way of bitterness either from hops or from the the espresso itself. So. It's just very smooth, like a drinking like an iced coffee. Um, it is a little bit creamy, but not, you know, it's it's more of just a dark, rich coffee flavor. And even though I did think I was getting maybe some, a bit of alcohol in the nose, um, drinking it, don't get any kind of alcohol burn or anything, um, which you shouldn't at 7.5% alcohol, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't expect that. Um, but it's just, like I said, really, really smooth espresso, wonderful smoothness, richness, um, very, very tasty. Okay, so I think I've said uh, just about all I need to say about this beer, sort of giving you an overview of, of uh, what it's like. Um, I definitely recommend it, and for a rating on this, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. This is an excellent espresso stout, and... Not not much more I need to say about it. If you're if you're a beer geek, uh, you should definitely give this one a try. Um, 
Uh, maybe if you're, you're a coffee geek, maybe you should give this a try also. If you, you know, you're definitely gonna definitely want to uh, be be into coffee in order to, in order to drink this. It's very strong on the coffee side. Um, it tastes more like an iced coffee than a beer. But um, but it's it's very nice, very wonderful, very well made, and yeah, nine out of ten for the Hitachino Nest. Espresso Stout from Japan. I'm Wes the Craft Beer Geek. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.